everybody, welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring a PoE checker. Um, now that people are doing phones and cameras and, and surveillance with power over ethernet, uh, you wanna make sure you have the right voltage. And also, also if you wanna do Cat5 or Cat6, the great tool to check your cables. Um, a lot of neat features that comes with it. I'm gonna put the descriptions in it of what you can do. Uh, it does require triple A batteries. It's no longer the nine volt battery like the old versions. Um, this one actually reads how much voltage a cable uh, will produce. Um, and you can actually test your cable straight out from your camera first. Say you have a router or you have a, um, a surveillance system that's capturing a DVR and you can test the voltage out and see if it's enough voltage or if it's a faulty thing. Um, wire testing, of course, and um, voltage testing, of course, um, really neat too. All in one, it's cheap and expensive. Um, if you ever want to learn about how to ma uh, um, manage your cables, um, check the voltage, this is a perfect tool. So we're gonna open it up today and see what you get when you purchase them like this. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're gonna get a little bag. You get a little bag out. Oh, this is great. Little neat little bag. We'll put that down, open it up. And a piece of resistance. Oh, look at that. A manual instruction step by step. Uh, 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 warranty information, um, how uh, support information, and then you get the tool itself in here. Now, included in here is the actual reader, and then there, this is a for RJ45, of course. If you guys have RJ45, it tells you RJ45 in in here to test. This is a tester. Uh, uh, it doesn't tone out lines, all right, guys. There's no toner in here. People think it's a toner on one. But it's a great system and three batteries. The batteries are not included. I added the batteries, right? Just to get you guys a head start, uh, heads up. I mean, um, I added the batteries. So make sure you slide them in there, close it out. Um, it tells you right here, loop back. So you can loop back, RJ45 tester. And then the, the, this is a PoE. This is actually to test it out. And this would be your DC in, DC out for voltage testing, right? So. Uh, a couple of things you can do. So let's go ahead and crack it up first. We're going to power it on. Um, at the beginning, when you power it on, hold the button down. One, two, three. It says welcome. And then it tells you what you want to do. You want to run a, a PoE continent power. So we're going to run the center one just to do a little test out right now. And we're going to click it to the left, to the right. I'm sorry. Hit OK. And, and, and hit OK on the testing, cable open, It's there's no cable right now. So we're gonna get this loop here. And I got two ends for now. This is just a RJ45 test and we're also gonna do the, the actual PoE to see the voltage. So one here. And then this one goes on the side, not the loop back, all right? We're not doing a loop back, we're doing RJ45. And we're gonna say OK again hit okay and then it tells you that it everything's okay if you guys can see it uh it would give you some errors if it does show that your cables are incorrect if you see 88833 everything's fine here so it did pick up now now lighting you hit the little light button look at that little light button in front i like that so in case you're in a server room and it's all dark or underneath the ground you can always use this a little uh, light uh a little great go back you go back into your menu you go back into the menu and then from here, uh, if you want to do the voltage, you're going to have to reconnect these. Take this out of the package. And you have to reconnect them. If you see the voltages, you can plug it in. Uh, it also has Cat6, Cat3 for phone systems. And then, of course, your plugs for your, your power here. If you want to do a testing on the power connection. So not bad. Or if you want to power this sucker, too. Um, other than that, I mean, the cables are there. Everything's in here included. I'm not gonna open this because I'm now never gonna use them. The RJ45, I'm probably gonna use it. A little short one just to, you know, do a little longer test, but I'm just gonna put it in here. And this is this is a um, Velcro right here. You guys can see it, Velcro tie. All right, what we have here is a tester that we're gonna do a PoE tester. And we're going to test it out, see how many voltage we get here. So we get our little tester here, if you guys can see it. Uh, it's not bad. This is uh, measures the voltage on the actual system. So we're going to do that first. 
and make sure we are getting the proper and if you can see it's this poe test that's what we want to do on this one all right so we'll put this on the side i'm going to plug it in all right plug it on any poe plug it in on the first one or the second one either one that you can do that and we're going to crank it up welcome to the po we're going to poe so we're going to change the first the first one poe switch and we're going to do a testing on the poe and see how many voltage we can get out of it here's the voltage if you guys can see the voltage on the poe and right now we're at 48 there it is there it is So on the voltage right now, if you can see it, it says 47.4 volts on the PoE. That's how much we're getting on it right now. And um, it seems like it's enough for anything you're going to put in there, right? So it's not bad.